It's the final week of non-conference football matchups. Wabonzi Valley makes the trip out east for a matchup against the Vikings of Homewood Flossborn. Starting the game with Luke Elsie holding the ball at midfield. He finds the gap connecting with Trent Selby for a 30-yard gain for the Warriors. Wabonzi would fall short on third down, so Aiden Mannon steps on the field, nailing the 40-yard field goal. Dub V up 3-0 at the end of the first quarter. Into the second quarter now. Luke Elsie has the ball again, firing downfield to Trent Selby, who is taken down at the 28-yard line. The Warriors make their way downfield. Luke Elsie looks for the end zone, finding Selby for the touchdown. Wabonzi extends the lead to 10. Homewood Flossmore's turn with the ball. Randall McDonald hands off to Jaden Banks, who breaks through the Wabonzi defense, running in the 30-yard touchdown. The Vikings trail by just three. Next possession for Elsie as he faces a third and one. He keeps it himself, picking up a huge first down for the Warriors. Once again, the Warrior drive would stall, so Aiden Mannon steps on the field, kicking a 30-yard field goal. Dub V goes up 13-6. Just under four minutes to play in the half. McDonald hands off to Brandon Brigham, who avoids not one, not two, but three Warrior defenders, picking up a 25-yard gain. The Vikings make their way into the red zone. Brigham takes the direct snap, forcing his way through the crowd for a Homewood Flossmore touchdown. The home team takes the lead 14-13. Luke Elsie and the Warriors put together one more drive. This time, Elsie finds Tyler Threat over the top, who is taken down at the one. With limited time and a fourth down, the Warriors bring Aiden Mannon out, but this time his kick goes wide right. The Vikings lead 14-13 at halftime. Homewood Flossmore with the first drive of the second half. Brandon Brigham hands off to Jaden Banks, who runs 40 yards down the sideline, setting the Vikings up in scoring position. The Vikings capitalize on the big play as Brigham makes his way into the end zone. Homewood Flossmore goes up 21-13 heading into the final quarter. Early on in the fourth quarter, Wabonzi is in the red zone. Luke Elsie finds the hands of Trent Selby who scores his second touchdown of the night. Dub V misses the two-point conversion so the Warriors trail 21-19. Next drive for the Vikings. Arthur McKnight gets the ball on his own 25, making his way downfield, avoiding tackles before being dragged down at the 23 for a huge gain. Once again, Brandon Brigham takes the direct snap, forcing his way through the pile for the touchdown. Homewood Flossmore now up 28 to 19 with nine minutes to play. A couple of minutes later, Elsie faces a 4th and 10, but he makes it look easy finding Brady Tipo who picks up exactly 10 yards for the first down. Wabonzi turns the big play into points as Luke Elsie keeps it himself, scampering into the end zone. The Warriors still trail 28-26. With 4 minutes left, the Vikings face a 4th and 1 on their own 25. There's a pile of players, so the refs bring out the chain crew. They measure, and it's short. Dub V takes over on downs. A minute left to play now, and the Warriors are going for the field goal. Aiden Mannon steps up, but again his kick is wide right, turning the ball over on downs. Homewood Flossmore would drain out the clock, picking up the 28-26 win over Wabonzi Valley. You know, we, we play really good, really, really good. So, you know, we just got to eliminate more mistakes, but yeah, we we did a good job, you know. We're just keeping our heads down, just keep working. Yeah, we're excited about the win, you know, we're going to celebrate it for a little bit because it's homecoming, you know. But after that, on Monday, time to get back to work. Um, you know, we definitely fought a lot of self-inflicted wounds. Um, it's a great football team. Uh, we fought. Uh, it's going to sting a little bit, but, you know, we're ready to go back, back in the lab, ready for Central next week. So we got to just sharpen up some things, you know. we got to make sure that we're not getting self-inflicted wounds again, like penalties and stuff like that. We've got to be more mentally sound, I think. Central's a great football team, too, but uh, I think we got what it takes to take the W. So.